Latvia has become the first European country to host two American Predator drones as part of U.S. efforts to reassure European allies. The United States is committed to providing security to Eastern European NATO member states. U.S. Ambassador to Latvia Nancy Bikov Petit said Tuesday the deployment was a sign of unwavering U.S. support for the region. As President Obama said one year ago in Tallinn, today we are bound by our treaty alliance. We have a solemn duty to one another. Article 5 is crystal clear. An attack on one is an attack on all. So if in such a moment you ever ask again who will come to help, you'll know the answer. The NATO alliance, including the armed forces of the United States of America. The United States has stepped up partner training deployments to NATO allies in Eastern Europe since Russia last year seized and annexed the Crimean region of Ukraine, raising concerns that Moscow might next target a member of the Western alliance. As we can see, the geopolitical situation in Europe is not changing. The stabilization of the situation in Ukraine and the fulfillment of the Minsk protocol is still topical, and therefore we are doing a lot to strengthen safety in the Baltic region. First of all, I am glad that the Latvian government has agreed to grant extra resources to the defense budget to strengthen the security in our country. And because next year the defense budget will reach 1.4 percent of GDP, there will be the possibility to develop our armed forces. MQ-1 predators were initially used by the U.S. Air Force and Central Intelligence Agency for aerial reconnaissance and forward observation. But the Predators can carry cameras and other sensors and were later modified and upgraded to carry and fire missiles as well as other munitions.